And so, Father, we just thank you for everyone that has come on. We thank you for your wisdom and your knowledge. We thank you for the word of knowledge. We thank you for the word and the truth that sets us all free. We even call on the spirit of deliverance right now to touch families and communities, cities, and states, and no doubt the ones that are on the line tonight. Deliverance from hurt, um, chaos, danger, pain. Deliver our people from dismay, depression, exhaustion. Deliver them now in the name of Jesus from poverty, from lack, from fear more than anything, frustration, worry, and doubt. I just ask everybody to begin to come in to the prayer and focus on your deliverance, your peace, what God has given you, your love, rather than focusing on the opposition, rather than focusing on what your mind is telling you or oppositional voices are telling you. Because the thief came to seek, steal, and destroy. And prayer is not a hurry-up thing. Prayer is something that you just marinate in and you get intimate with God. God is the source of everything that we have. Therefore, if God is for us, who and what can be against us? If God is for us, who and what can be against us? I'll say it again. If God is for us, who and what can be against us? And so it's a time when people are having to dig deep into their spiritual continuity, their spiritual foundation, what you're made of is what's going to take you through the time that we're in, right? Because things ain't getting better. What's getting better is our relationship with the Father. And so we just ask the Father to be present with each and every person, that they begin to even look at themselves and value themselves and begin to look at how they can reinvent themselves, think differently about themselves, that they will have the confidence of the Lord in the name of Jesus. We just declare confidence right now, steadfastness, that a mind that is immovable, unshakable in your people, and that, God, you're grooming up leaders in this season. We thank you even right now for those that are in moods and places of lowliness, that you begin to lift them up in the name of Jesus, that they pull on your word even as we speak and decree the things that is so. You said you'll level every mountain and make every valley high in the name of Jesus. And so as we speak and declare your word, we believe and we receive financial blessings, divine order, breakthrough anointing in our lives. What the enemy came to seek, steal, and destroy, that enemy is being bound and broken by the fire. God, we call on the Holy Spirit even so right now to begin to interrupt, dismantle any kind of works that's being set up against us, every witch and warlock, every gossiping spirit that is spoke against us, every snake and venomous spirit that has tried to come and tie us up, be annihilated by the fire of God. It's just like that. We serve an awesome God. There's nothing, nothing too hard for God. All things are possible for you, Father. And so all the possibilities that lay before us in our life, in our bloodline, breaking generational curses and bringing generational blessings, we declare and decree over your people right now. We declare breakthrough in their minds, in their hearts, in their souls. We even declare the purpose-filled life for them and ourselves in the name of Jesus. Right now, we just ask your spirit to touch right now. Come Cover where there's been danger, Lord God, lurking around your people. Cover with your blood in the name of Jesus. We couple our faith right now because you are the God, El Elonion, Elohim, El Shaddai. You are the God of all the heavens and you create circumstances and you open doors that no man can shut. So we give you praise tonight and we bless you. We thank you that the seasons that we're walking through is making us stronger. And we thank you that no weapon ever formed against us can prosper. We thank you that every tongue that rises against us in judgment is being condemned. 
Every word that's been spoken against us in judgment is being condemned and sent back to the senders. Right now, we declare and decree. By the power of God, every arrow that was sent against us, everything that tried to come up against us to bring a demise to our lives and our souls, it goes back to the enemy in the name of Jesus. We declare a breakthrough over your people. We declare commitment from your people. Yes, Lord. We declare that we're walking in your purpose and your continuity. What you called us to do, we're doing it in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you right now for a release of peace. Those that have been bound up, held up, frustrated. Lord God, we thank you for a release right now. Those that have been in fear right now, we thank you for the warring angels coming in. Hey, break up the spirit of fear. Break up the spirit of doubt. Break up with your hammer, with your axe, Lord God, your hand of mercy. Break up the spirit of lies and deception right now. We cast them down. Send them back to the pits of hell where they came from. Every impossible spirit, every tormenting spirit, your time is up. You have no place in our lives. We're standing. We're standing. We thank you for the fruit of the spirit. We're standing. We worship the Lord God Almighty. We thank you for universal support. We thank you for universal healing. We thank you that whenever we are in need, God, and more than that, we can call on you, but that we're steadfast and we're staying in your presence, oh God. At this time of our lives, we need you more than anything. We thank you that you are a healer. You are a provider. You are a heart fixer. You are a mind regulator. We thank you, God, that we may have been counted out as damaged goods, but God, now we take back everything that the enemy tried to take from us. The damage has been broken. We are healed by your stripes. The blood of Jesus heals us. What the enemy meant to damage us is sent back to the senders in the name of Jesus. We thank you for healing hearts, healing brokenness. We thank you even for the humility that we gain through the brokenness, but we thank you for assertiveness and confidence in this season of our lives in the name of Jesus, that we can do and complete the assignments that you us. No one can give us that power but you, Lord God. And so we thank you that the power of God begin to rush in to our lives, our families, our communities, our cities and states. We cry out to you and we thank you. We bless your holy name. We magnify you. We thank you that God, some of us have been at the end of our rope, but you've given us more rope to stay in the fight. We thank you that the fight is fixed from the beginning of Genesis to the end of Revelations. We win. We thank you for our victory. We declare victory. We declare it because your word says it. Your word, God. We put you to the test with your word. We fleece you even as Gideon did. Your word said we're more than conquerors. Therefore, we believe the word of God is moving in our lives with conquering ability. We're more than conquerors. We're well able to possess the land that you gave us. We possess it right now. We possess the territories that you gave us. No more territory spirits. No more spirits coming in trying to take what belongs to us. We possess our land, our fortune, even the fame that you gave us and the glory. We ask you to let it flow in our lives, in our workspaces in our children, in our family members. Let it flow. Anything that the enemy stole from us, we call it back back right now because you have no right. Lose our things. Lose our possessions. Lose our emotional stability, our stability financially, mentally, physically, right now in Jesus' name. Release our family members. Deliver us now from the work of darkness. Deliver, deliver, and set them free. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We thank you that we are shining stars. We're higher lifted up. Nothing can touch us because we're in your grace. We're in your mercy. You lifted us up, Lord God, above the winds of change. Thank you that nothing in in no means shall harm us. No chaos or destruction shall come now our houses in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is not for us be swept away in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the prayers. We thank you for the blessings. And it is so, and it is so. 
Amen. And so this is a good word for everyone. They might not understand it completely, but Jesus is tested in the wilderness. Each and every one of us are being tested in the wilderness. It looks like a dry and barren place, but there's something that God is trying to convey to us in our lives. No one can tell us but the word of God. And so our comfort is in the intimacy with the word of God. So Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. You see, this is a powerful scripture because God had led him into something that many people will say, God couldn't have did that. So he was led into the wilderness by the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So any opposition that you're experiencing, understand the test. <laughs> the test is here. And many will say, well, when is the testing over? When you pass. When I pass. So let's see where this all begins for us. This is where your study comes in. Because a lot of people will try to refute the word of God, but when we first came on, we had about two or three people that said they had heard oppositional words within themselves that are, is opposed to the word of God. So there's a word that you're going to follow in deception, or there's a word that you're going to follow concerning God. And so here's Jesus. He's in the wilderness, meaning that he's in a dry place, even in his mind. Confusion is there. I, there are some needs that probably need to be met. Um, and he's there because he needs to be tempted. The spirit of God led him there. All right? And so it was. he was led there for the enemy to tempt him. And so when people read this, they think that it's a visible enemy, but it comes by the air. You see, you hear things audible or you hear things within yourself. So verse 2 says, after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, if you are the son of God, he's asking him in a, in a way to question his uh, thoughts. If you are the son of God, tell the stones to become bread. First of all, Jesus don't have to walk by the command of opposition. We can look over oppositional thoughts because the blood is there for us. And the, the oppositional thought is a part of temptation. So you have to see how this fits for you. Oppositional thoughts that do not sound right is contrary to what God is saying. It is an opposing thought to what God is doing in you and in your life. So where are you with God? That's not to say that you have no relationship with God. You got to find out where your location and position is right now. Because if you're being tempted by some words that make you feel uncomfortable, you got to go to the word of God to make that word feel uncomfortable. It's trying to become an adversarial factor. It's even trying to become a digestive part of who you are. It's trying to get within you and resonate and say that this is how it is. I live here now. And you're going to say, no, the devil, you a liar. You don't live here. This house is sanctified and Holy Ghost field, and I mean the house of my body. You cannot have my mind. You can't have my soul. And every lie and deceptive word that you speak, I bind it with the blood of Jesus. The violent take it by force. It's either going to take you, that oppositional thought, or you're going to take it. And it wants to take you down. So you better think about how you're going to take it down. So Jesus answered, it is written. Now, this is where it is. This is the power of the word. It is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So what is the word of God concerning your wilderness experience or your temptation? Because the oppositional thought will come, but what did you have a word from that from the Bible that's, that's written that says, no, this is not the truth of my life. This is written that God said, man shall not live by bread alone. 
but I shall only hear from the word of God. Amen. The mouth of God is the word of God. I shall only hear, and you will not speak into my life, but I shall only hear what the word of God is saying. Sometimes your opposing factors are coming, and they're speaking into your life what they want you to believe. But if you believe in the word of the Lord, you won't be tempted to stay in that thought with that oppositional thought. You will go to the word of God and say, no, I live by what the word of God is saying. Because sometimes God is prompting us to fight those oppositional thoughts, the thoughts of fear. When you sit there in them, then you become worried, you know? You actually start believing what fear is saying. But to counteract it, you go and you get a word like in John, I think we had it today, and it said, now this is the confidence that we have in Christ. Perfect love, it casts down fear. So I need to find out where the perfect love is so that I can cast this fear away. Sometimes people entertain things and people and, and mess too much. And so what happens is, is that that thing becomes a part of who we are. We don't know that consciously, subconsciously, and unconsciously, we're taking in information that is like volatile to our system. And then we start hearing things around us because we let this stuff in our atmosphere. Get it out. Pull down the strongholds that beset themselves over the wisdom and knowledge of God. What is the wisdom and knowledge of God over your life? We have to recognize when we're being tempted on the outside and inside. First of all, recognize when you're being tempted inside, because if an inside word comes as contrary to the word of God, then that means that if you don't deal with it, that manifestation of that word is going to begin to show up outside of you. Some people, trying to work out situations that's unworkable because let me tell you something. Your partnerships are not working with you. And if you are not working with your partnerships, it's the same situation. And I mean across the board, in relationships, in work relationships, people have to work together. You can't work alone in life. You can't even rescue people. You can't even change people. Nothing is in our, our control. Jesus was led by God into the wilderness. Why? Because God had a better end for him after the wilderness experience. Trust your wilderness experience. But work with the wilderness experience and build yourself up so that you will continue to submit yourself to fear, worry, and doubt and to people and their pride. Listen, if people are important, then I am too, aren't you? That's why I taught yesterday, baby, you're a star because a lot of people have been lifted up and they've been rising. The stars are falling and new stars are coming into play. Some of the stars that's been risen up from some time did not understand the position they were given. They didn't even respect it. From a spiritual perspective, you better respect anything that God gives you in life. Because everything that we have is coming from the Father. Where you live right now is not because of somebody, it's because of God. Whatever situation you're walking through, God is at the end of it to meet you for your breakthrough. God is at the end to meet you. There will be an end to that situation. You'll walk into another situation of, of life because you have elevated and you're going to have more to give, to learn, and to walk through. But at least at that point, you would have mastered this season to know that as you climb up higher, you can get better, do better, and be better. Temptation. Do you believe? 
the doubt in you? Or do you believe the God in you? Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written. He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up. You see the deception? Throw yourself down. What other deceptions are you dealing with? Are you kidding me? You actually came to me and you told me to throw myself down? But now mind you that when we're going through something, our minds are not as clear as maybe right now. So you might entertain throwing yourself down, right? Because it is written, well, yeah, God, he going to send his angels um, and he's going to command them to pick me up, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw myself down like, like the devil's saying. Well, first of all, I want you to meet the devil. The devil is your oppositional thoughts. They can either also come from dark forces outside of you because there is anyone that has a purpose in their life and they're moving toward, there is dark forces that are being sent towards the light to tear the light down and shut the light out, okay? So you gotta understand. Sometimes, no, it ain't just within you, but it can be from the universe that there are dark forces released against you as there was with Jesus. Don't be a fool. But man, you understand deception. If you are the son of God, no, I am the son of God. I am. That's what you got to begin to tell it. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I'm a child of God. Therefore, I'm rising up to become God. No, you got no more playing room in my mind. You got to go. No access. Close the door. Don't entertain them. They're giving you trouble. Don't give them no trouble back. Leave them alone. Do what you need to do for righteousness. So the devil says to him, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. And Jesus answered him and said, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to test. So you got to get that. When you get to the place where you understand, I am that I am. I am the Lord my God, because my God resonates and lives within me. Baby, that's the start that's in you, your God. It is written, do not put the Lord your God to test. Oppositional thoughts, any kind of thoughts that come from the air that does not set well with God, correct them. Invisible forces that need to be corrected, correct them. No, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. That does not resonate with my reality. My reality is this. I've been down one time. I've been down two. But I'm up, up, and I'm going over the top. I see myself where I want to be. I'm living in high places. Why? Because God said I'm blessed in the city and I'm blessed in the field. My family is blessed. And they're coming in out of darkness. They're coming in out of darkness. All of my family members are coming in. I am the gatekeeper. I I am the trailblazer. No weapon formed against me. What I'm doing, what I say shall prosper. The prayers that I pray shall come to pass. That is the word of God. So Jesus answered him. He said, okay, okay, so you know who you are now. Because Jesus knows who he is. Do not put the Lord your God to test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Okay, so you should have some powerful information that if you in the spirit feel like you've been under attack, you go in and you begin to look at who you are. 
Your test and your temptation has a lot to do with where you're going to go from this day forward. You know, if you've been dealing with fear, you got to battle it. If you've been dealing with worry, you got to use these here. No, I am a son of God. You will not tempt or test me anymore. This is the word of the Lord. If you're a son of God, tell the stones to become bread. Listen, I don't have to listen to any of the foolishness that you say or give an account to you because you're nothing to me. God is everything. You see? Why should I allow my feelings and emotions to be oppositional when I say I'm serving God? I need to deal with my flesh. And I need to deal with any kind of dark forces that may be resonating around me. And that's the bottom line. And I won't be able to deal with them effectively until I know what they are. I'm angry. Anger, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Get out. You have no place in my life. Why? Because you're, bl- you're blocking my blessing. The fruit of the Spirit said, love, peace, joy, happiness. 5 and 20 of Galatians. That's where the fruit of the Spirit, that's what we're developing through the test. Patience, kindness, endurance, strength. So if you can endure the words of the opposer and tell it where to go, then all things are really working for your good. You see, all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord. But some people don't know who the Lord is. The manifestation of God comes through speaking the word of God, praying, your intimacy with God, never allowing anything to come in between of that because God is the head of all things. That means, number one, I put you first when I wake up in the morning. And the rest follows afterwards. Amen. Any questions? God bless that word. Amen. No questions here. Amen. Oh, your voice sounds a little different. I'm using the app, so Any I think that means something different. Hmm? Okay. Anybody else? Anora, I'm going to ask you to pray then. And we can close up and just go against the frustration and fear that people are experiencing. Yes, ma'am, can you hear me? Yep. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for bringing us to the one of the two for bringing us to I'm sorry. Can you hear an echo? Can you hear an echo? Yes. Yeah, I'm there's sorry. feedback. I'm not hearing it. It's Kim keeps freezing. It's Kim keeps freezing. Oh, Lord, thank you. While she's getting together, let's just praise God. We need to praise God. Praise God and thank him for everything. Come on, y'all. Let's just praise and worship God. In your own places, praise God and worship him because that's where the mountains began to move. Worship, worship, worship. Worship God. He says, if you worship me in spirit and truth, worship in spirit and truth. So your worship brings you into the spirit and truth is revealed there. What is it that you're looking for? What is it that you want from God? Do you want the same experience you've been having or do you want something new? Do you want something different? And so all of that understanding and the truth is up to you. You begin to acknowledge God and, and begin to talk to God and, and tell God what you want, and God will begin to give it. Find yourself worthy of speaking with God and having a relationship with God. Many people go to church, and they don't access God. They just listen to people giving them a word, but that's not enough because God wants to be your word. God wants to be your way, your will. God wants to be the way maker for you, I know. And so once you begin to enter into the gates of thanksgiving and praise, you'll begin to see that God will begin to dominate everything that has been in your way. Every mountain 
Lord Jesus. Every mountain be destroyed by the power of God tonight that's been standing in the way of your people, that's been standing in their mind. Every hardship, every hurt, we just ask you, Holy Spirit, to come in, to resonate within their hearts and minds, and bring the change, O oh God, that they're looking for. But also, Lord God, lead them and guide them in the change that you have ordered them or ordered for them in this season. Line upon line and precept upon precept, be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to your people. Lord God, to lead them into the new um, uh, experience that they are looking for, but more than anything, to give them guidance and direction like you led Moses and you led the children of Israel through the Red Sea. Part the Red Sea for them mentally, physically, and spiritually. Do it for us all tonight. In the name of Jesus, by you we run through troops. By you, Almighty God, we leap over walls. It's not just the word said, but, Father, we believe the word of the Lord. Oh, God, the testing time has been great. We've stood on your word through it all. Some days we didn't have it all together, but, God, we believed in you beyond everything. Anything that was coming out of us, faith has been our recompense. So, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we just ask you, open up the windows of heaven and pour out the blessings. Pour out the blessings that they need. Pour out the blessings that they've been asking for as we touch and agree in prayer you said if we lifted you up then all things will come to pass we just lift you up we reverence you tonight and we worship you we glorify you we thank you for the spirit of healing and we thank you we thank you for the rescue somebody needs a rescue we thank you for the rescue we thank you for the healing we thank you for the virtue of the Lord. We thank you for the plenty that you're sending, the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich, and it adds no sorrow. We thank you, God, the season of suffering is gone, and the season of joy is here. Thank you for joy, unspeakable joy for your people. Love beyond measure. Thank you, God, that you have even wiped their eyes and their minds clear that they can see the light of day in the name of Jesus. Every financial issue be bound and broken, and a release of financial blessings come forth from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Every emotional bondage where people have been suffering emotionally, even from things from their childhood, be wiped away. And healing come now in those areas. Take root healing in the name of Jesus. Pluck up, pull out generational curses. Pluck up and pull out anything residue that has been left in your people's hearts and souls, Lord God, that has kept them in anguish and pain, that has kept them at crossroads where they can't go any further. Release them now in the name of Jesus. We call on your spirit of deliverance. Release them from suffering. Release them from heartache and pain. Release them from depression and anxiety. Let your spirit move right now in the name name of Jesus. We glorify you. We lift you up, God. We call on you for more of your presence, oh God. We depend on you, Father. We count on you. We thank you. We thank you for all that you're doing in our lives right now. We thank you. We thank you for the abundance. We thank you for the for the praise. We thank you for the worship. We thank you for life. We thank you for breath to breathe. We thank you even internally that you're healing parts of our bodies. We thank you, Lord, as we get older, we grow younger in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for your presence. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for your angels released all around your people tonight. That you're saving souls, you're saving family, you're honoring prayers and wishes tonight. You're doing it because it's all by faith. You said if we have the seed of a must a faith the size of a mustard seed, and we just believe. And so, God, we believe. We believe in new beginnings. We believe in breakthrough anointing. We believe in your angels protecting us. We believe that we can rest tonight in peace. We believe in the healing power for our family. We believe every generational curse is bound by the fire. We 
believe we believe anything that is targeted us and came at us is being sent back, reverse the curse, reverse the curse, reverse anything that has been spoken against us, reverse it back, reverse it back. That you're making the crooked way straight. Hey, love, I, bye, bye. You're making the crooked ways straight. You're bringing unity. You're bringing the peace. We receive you, Lord. We receive you, Holy Spirit. We receive you, Allah. We receive your healing. We receive the dynamics of your precious spirit. We receive you, Lord God. The inner wealth the inner jewels that you've given us. We receive you, Father. Holy Spirit, just touch your people tonight. Give them rest. Provide employment. Provide money. Provide clarity. Provide strength. Hey, provide endurance. Provide protection. Provide, Lord God. Touch the mind that it can operate properly. Let the neurons and the dopamine flow properly in the minds of your people tonight. I bind up the spirit of lies and deception. Right now, I bind it by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, we call on you. We worship your Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that you said is not you, but you said it's the Father in you. We call on that same spirit. You said greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We call on the greatness to support us to lead us and guide us in the way, for we know not the way. We thank you for intimacy with you, Father. I uh, glory to God. We reverence you. We thank you for mastery. We thank you, God. Every dark force is shuddering right now. Your fire come against it. Every dark force. Anything that's been up against your people's minds and their hearts, anything that's been restricting them and giving them a limit, a ability, Lord God, we bind it with the fire of God, the Holy Spirit, reign in our lives, reign in our circumstances, reign in our families, reign, reign in our souls, reign in our workplaces, reign in our houses, reign in our families. Set our families free, set our people free, set our people free in the name of Jesus, set them free. Breakthroughs, I even speak to the economy, that things shall change right now for the people that have been in lack in the name of Jesus. Financial wealth and breakthroughs come, spiritual wealth come in the name of Jesus. God, we believe you. God, we praise you. No more limits. Glory to God. We come up against the spirit of slavery and sabotage. I worship you, God. I thank you for your warring spirits. I thank you right now that every spirit that came to defeat us is defeated right now. Satan, your defeated foe, sabotage you, spirits, in the name of Jesus. Your work. Your deception is bound by the fire of God. Go back to the pits of hell. We command you as the word of God said, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. We're rising above the occasions. We're going to elevated heights. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus, season of healing, a season of healing, we call on it, a season of healing, a season of rest, a season of covering, a season of protection in the name of Jesus. We call it for in the name of Jesus. I am the atmosphere. I am the universe. We call on you to call it warning angels. Get us ready. Get a visa in the name of Jesus. Silence our enemies. Silence the dark forces. 
Give us our wealth. Give us our way. The way of the Lord. The way of the Lord. The way of the Lord. Open the way. Make it straight. In the name of Jesus. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Yeah. The blood. Yes, with favored. With favored. We thank you for the opportunities. We thank you for the opportunities. We thank you for your presence. You're a way maker. You're way out of nowhere. When we couldn't see our way through, God, you've made a way for us. We worship you, God. Release the people, God. Release their souls. They'll be able to go forward and do what you call them to do. Release uh, the souls of God's people. Release their hearts. Uh, release their minds. Uh, a breakthrough anointing. Deliver now. Deliver and set the souls free. Deliver our families and set them free. From the works of the dark forces in the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we ask God, we decree it. We thank you that we're blessed. 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 <laughs> we're blessed. Thank you. Thank you that we're blessed. <laughs> thank you that we see the blessings. We thank you. Thank you that we can see the blessings. It's not what it used to be. But God, you're doing a new thing in our lives. Thank you that we can surrender to you and permit you to do the work that you called within us for brighter and better days. Oh, God, how we love you. How we praise you. Wonderful, wonderful Savior. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful counselor, mind regulator. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we reverence you. We lift you up higher in you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the newness. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the restructuring. Thank you, Lord God, for the prayers of the righteous of Elizabeth. Thank you for the praise and the worship. Thank you, thank you. In your court, Lord God, we surrender all to you. We surrender the worry, the fear, the doubt. We surrender the frustration and the anguish. We surrender. We surrender. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We surrender it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We surrender our families. We surrender our children. We surrender our desires and our will to you, Lord God. We surrender. For eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, the wonderful things that you are doing. Oh, glory, help us to see and focus on you. For thy word is a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path. We look to the hills from which cometh our help. Our help cometh from you. Victory in the name of Jesus. Victory over death. Victory over the sting of death. All death, where is your sting? Victory. Victory over death. Victory. 
victory. Oh, victory, victory, victory. We thank you for victory. Thank you, God, for healing. Thank you for peace. Thank you for joy restored. Thank you, Lord, that the enemy got to get the hell out. You have no place in our lives. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. Wonderful, wonderful, awesome, awesome God. Thank you, Lord, for covering. Thank you for protection. And thank you, God, for correction. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory, hallelujah. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We love you. Lord, we praise you. We bless you. Lord, we magnify you. For you are worthy, you're worthy. Glory to God. Nothing is too hard for you. Nothing is too hard for you. From ancient to old, Lord God, your word remains the same. You are the power that wrought within us. We seek you. We seek you, O oh Lord. We seek your faith. He says, seek ye first the kingdom and all things should be, would be added unto us. So we seek your faith. There's no limits to you. Lord God, there's no limits to you. There is no limit. So we give you praise and adoration and we bless your name. Amen and amen. <clears throat> so you guys have a good night and um, maybe Wednesday we'll pray again. Thank you. God bless you, everyone.